हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज विनीत अग्रवाल इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू क्रिएट अ काउंटर एप्लीकेशन फॉर दैट आई विल टेक अ लेबल कंपोनेंट एज वेल एज द टाइमर कंपोनेंट एंड दिस काउंटर एप्लीकेशन विल शो द नंबर इन इंक्रीजिंग मैनर व्हेन इट रीचेस टू इट्स हाईएस्ट लिमिट व्हाट एवर वी सेट इट विल बी Re initialize by its default value. All right. First of all, I am doing something with the form. First, I change the text property with the string my counter app. Again, I am changing the background color of the form so that it will be shown more appealing. With a black background, it will be better for everybody. in the toolbox i am just dragging a label change the background color of the label so that it will be shown take any light color suppose this one and i am just changing in font property suppose this is take the bold and font size let take 24 the initial value of the text property let us assume 0 so that it will be started from 0 because this counter will run automatically increase the value automatically for doing this i am just taking the timer component it is a invisible component and contains one or two useful property and one event that is a tick event which we have to handle okay change the value of enable property by true interval means at this interval the event of timer will be fired okay we are not changing the value of interval property let assume it is 100 as it is given over here and inside a tick event you just click the tick event and comes into the body of timer1 underscore tick take a variable let int i is equals to zero. Let i is equals to one. It will be better because we have shown the zero initially. Then label one one dot text is equals to i. But i is an integer and label one dot text property can contain only the string. That is why you have two options. The first option is either you can concatenate the blank string or the second option. you can use i dot like this i dot to string so whatever you like you can do increase the value of i and then check if i goes to upper limit let assume it is 100 it will be reinitialized by 0 now run the application here you are seeing the increased value of i is being shown in the label yeah reinitialized all right so our application is now ready is correct do something more in this application suppose we want to stop the timer start the timer whenever we want for doing this just take a button and the the text property you just write a start it's not necessary but put some meaningful information over here so that uh, everybody can understand uh, whenever he or she want to start can easily understand now click on the click event of the button object inside this just check if button 1 dot text is equals to start because initially it is start first of all button 1 dot text is equals to stop and then timer 1 dot enabled is equals to false otherwise button 1 dot text is equals to start and timer 1 dot enabled is equals to true and initially 
set the enable property of timer with a false value save it and then run when we click on the start button it's running Inside this, use the if statement. If button one dot text is equals to start, put the button one dot text is equals to stop, and timer one dot enabled is equals to true. In the else statement. button one dot text is equals to start and timer one dot enabled is equals to false and before running this application you just change the enabled property of timer with a value false initially and then run this application i have already changed the enabled property of timer with a false value start click on a start it's running click on a stop it stops then start stop start stop through this way you can create the dummy stopwatch also in the next video i'll try to make dummy stopwatch not exactly the stopwatch because if we make the application in which we have to handle the uh, seconds minutes and hours we have to wait for a long time and uh, it's not very easy Uh, in the next video i'll make the application of dummy stopwatch which contains minutes and seconds in a stopwatch so don't forget to see my next video thank you